Over a century after his prime, Benny Leonard is still considered one of the greatest fighters of all time. The way this man moved was just unfathomable in the 1910s and the 1920s. Leonard is like a modern day boxer, teleported back 100 years into the old school. People just didn't think or move like Leonard back in those days. You can even see defensive tricks like the shoulder roll. A defensive tool that wouldn't be used consistently until decades later. The legendary trainer Ray Arcel, who was the coach to some of the greatest fighters of all time, including the likes of Roberto Duran and Ezra Charles said without a doubt that Benny Leonard was the greatest fighter that he'd ever trained. I just can't quite put into words how special it is that this man moved like this in the 1910s and the 1920s. But he was also one of the great all-rounders of all time, with one of the best jabs I've ever seen, an incredible ability to judge distance and get in and out of range, and was practically impossible to hit. In the eyes of many experts, he's tied with Roberto Duran as the greatest lightweight of all time. He would take most of his losses in his teenage years, having 68 fights by the time he was 19 and losing 17 of them. But once he'd learned his craft and hit his 20s, he would have 150 one more fights and only lose five more times eventually winning 185 of his 219 bouts including newspaper decisions he was the lightweight champion of the world for eight years and is considered by ring magazine as a top 10 all-time great